Um, again, uh, continuation po natin ng tongue diagnosis made easy. Uh, tongue body uh, shape part 2. Uh, first, we have the sunken areas. Some areas of the tongue can appear to have a uh, sunk downward. This indicates a condition of chi deficiency in the organ that is reflected in this area of the tongue. So meron pong depression na pababa sa may tongue. The depression of the tongue surface can sometimes only be seen immediately after the person has presented their tongue and then the area fills up and the depression is no longer visible. So pwede po mangyari uh, once uh, nag-ask ka sa pasyente na ilabas yung tongue, immediately makita mo ka agad and then pag paulit mo, uh, the area fills up daw and the depression is no longer visible. It is sometimes necessary to get the patient to extend their tongue a couple of times to be sure that you have observed the depression correctly. So paulit po natin a uh, couple of times uh, kung talagang meron po siyang depression dun sa tongue. On the other hand, an area of the tongue may only collapse after the tongue has been extended uh, for a while. So, pwede rin uh, mag-collapse yung depression or makita natin yung depression dun sa tongue um, when uh, we let the patient extend for a while uh, nilabas po yung tongue. In both cases, this will most typically be seen in the area corresponding to the lung or spleen and stomach and is indicative of chi deficiency in this organ. So, dito, uh, dito po sa picture, kung i-observe po ninyo yung kumhatiin po natin yung tang ng tatlo yung uh, front third uh, there is a presence of depression which signifies uh, masasabi po natin na meron po siyang uh, lung chi deficiency kasi area po ito ng lung um uh, kahapon na discuss po natin yung swelling ng sides of the tongue uh, hindi uh, dapat hindi po tayo ma-confuse uh, the whole length pag sinabing swelling ng the whole length of the tongue yung liver area uh, halos ganito din pero compared uh, with this one which has a uh, depression pag punta mo pagdating mo dito sa my middle part uh, nagpapantay na po yung tongue so this uh, so there is a difference between lung chi uh, deficiency and ito naman na uh, liver liver chi stagnation okay yung liver chi stagnation yung swelling sa side ito naman uh, pag may swelling dito sa my side pero may merong depression dito sa my front third which indicate uh, lung uh, lung chi deficiency. Okay? If the root of the tongue is sunken, uh, yung pinakalikod, uh, posterior third, uh, this can be a sign of jing deficiency naman. So, this patient or this tongue, uh, uh, parehas po may lung chi deficiency and kidney jing deficiency. Uncontrolled movement and stiffness. There should be flexibility and movement in the tongue. If the tongue movements are involuntary, this may be interior wind causing chi to move uh, chaotically or the spleen failing to control the muscles. So, ito po is paglabas ng tongue ng patient, there is an involuntary movement from side to side na hindi nakokontrol ng pasyente. So meaning, uh, there is a spleen failing to control the muscle. When the spleen does not control the muscles in the tongue, the tongue can quiver. So pwede rin nag-shake. Sometimes the tongue will begin to quiver after the person has had their tongue extended for a few seconds. So pwedeng ilabas niya, wala pa, then 
after a few seconds, meron na siyang quivering. It is as if the spleen is no longer capable of keeping the tongue still. So yung spleen po dito yung uh, organ na supposedly mag-hold po ng tongue uh, stationary. And because there is spleen, uh, spleen deficiency, uh, hindi po nakocontrol ng uh, spleen yung movement ng tongue muscle. In the same way that a light wind will cause a flag to wave from side to side, high winds will make the cloth of the flag hard and stiff. So, uh, ini halintulad po, uh, pag inapply natin sa tang, if there is a presence of interior wind, ang tang natin is uh, parang similar sa flag na nagbubu from side to side. And uh, pag malakas po yung high wind, so ganun din po sa tang uh, nagiging rigid and inflexible. If the tang deviates to one side, this can be due to the channel of one side of the body being excess. So uh, excess condition, meaning there could be a presence of wind or phlegm or the channel on the other side of the body being excess. So that's uh, the reason na pwede po yung uh, deviation ng tang dahil po sa wind or phlegm, which is excess, or there is a presence of deficiency on the other side. A flaccid tang, especially if it is swollen, indicates naman a chi deficiency or phlegm. Uh, sa flexibility of the tongue seems limp and lifeless, walang kaboy-boy, uh, this may be due to lack of fluid or blood causing the tongue to wilt. There may therefore be a chi deficiency or blood deficiency. Alternately, heat may have damaged the fluids. The color of the tongue will determine whether it is a blood deficiency and or a chi deficiency condition. On the, on the one hand, or yin deficiency or heat on the other. In the first two cases, the tongue will be pale para dun sa blood deficiency or chi deficiency condition. And in the latter two cases, the tongue will be red dun naman sa yin deficiency or heat. Sa length naman ng tang, the young nature of heat is expansive. Meaning, if there is a presence of heat, uh, dahil sa young nature nito, uh, this could cause the tang uh, to, to extend or be, become longer. At the same time, heat damages fluids and this, this can therefore cause tang to shrink, resulting in a short tang. So, with the presence of heat, it, it's either ang tang po humaba dahil po sa expansive nature ng yang or dahil sa presence ng heat, yung tang po is pwede mag or umikli. Sa cold naman, uh, which is a yin, has a yin dynamic that makes things contract. So ang action naman ng cold, if there is a presence of cold, uh, it it contracts naman or so cold can therefore result in a tang that is shorter than normal. So alam po natin kung gaano kahaba yung normal tang um, kumpara naman dun sa umikli na tang and uh, this could be possibly caused by uh, a cold. The difference between a tang that is short due to cold and one that is short due to heat will be seen in the color of the tongue. So, ma determine po natin kung uh, the tongue being short, kung caused by a cold or heat condition, um, ang heat, uh, with the presence of heat, the tongue color is red, whereas sa cold naman, uh, the tongue color is pale and, of course, yun na nga, short. Sa cracks, cracks are often but not exclusively a manifestation of wind deficiency. 
body fluids nourished and moisten the tongue in the same way that rain moisten the soil. So, inihalin tulad yung tang natin sa soil, uh, when there is water or rain, yung soil po walang cracks. Uh, the same with our tang, kung there is presence of moisture, so wala, uh, wala din kung crack ang tang. If there is too little rain, the surface of the earth cracks, and if there is too little body fluid, the tongue surface cracks, so uh, magkapares, halos. The shape and distribution of the cracks will depend on the type of yin deficiency of both. The depth and size of the crack will say something about how serious the situation is and how long it has existed. Kung deep, long, and multiple cracks, ibig sabihin, uh, deep sita din balance na matagal na po and more severe ang situation compared po dun sa single and short and shallow pa lang yung crack which is masasabi natin na uh, short duration pa lang or hindi pa gaano kalala. A very uh, swollen tongue may look as if it is crack. But this is because the tongue is wrinkled and creased. The patient can be asked to pull the side of the tongue outward. So ito po yung i-ask natin sa patient na ilabas po yung tongue and pull that uh, side of the tongue outward. If the crack disappears, pag nawala po yung crack, pag ginawa po yun na ilabas yung tongue, the tongue is just swollen and not cracked. So hindi naman natin makukonsider yun na as true crack, but uh, it is because of the swelling. By pulling on the side of the tongue, kung ito ay may crack, you can also get an idea of the depth and thus severity of the cracks. So pag pull natin sa side, pares dito po sa picture, mas lumabas or mas nakita po yung crack, uh, mas malalim, mas malaki, um, mas severe po yung um, condition ng pasyente. A short crack in the middle of the tongue indicates a deficiency condition in the stomach or spleen. If the crack and the area around it is red and lacks coating, this is a sign of stomach yin deficiency. If the area is normal naman or pale colored and has coating, it will not be yin deficiency but spleen and stomach chi deficiency. So, kumpara po dun sa normal with uh, coating and the other one, stomach yin deficiency, um, lax coating po yun. If the crack is deeper or wider with a sticky yellowish coat coating, it may look as if the crack is fury. Uh, it is a sign of stomach fire or phlegm heat in the stomach. So here, uh, meron tayong apat na picture. Um, first is, um, uh, is the pale and normal color. So pag inobserve nyo ng mabuti, meron po siyang crack dito sa may middle. Uh, Ito po yung inaano natin na um, spleen and stomach chi deficiency. So, observe po natin dito. Yung next po is um, meron siyang mas maraming crack and reddish color, reddish ang coloration. Ito naman yung sinasabi natin na stomach chi deficiency. Okay, yung sa baba na picture, letter C and letter D, we have the fire or phlegm heat in the stomach. Ito po yung may sticky yellowish coating. Uh, meron siyang deeper and wider uh, na crack. So observe po natin ang um, pagkakaiba. Dito po uh, nag-yellowish po and yung tang is reddish with a sticky coating. May crack po siya dito sa my stomach area. So we have, we call this 
uh, fire, stomach fire, and phlegm heat in the stomach. Okay po? If there are more irregular or transverse crack in the central area of the tongue, it will be a manifestation of stomach kin deficiency. So, mas maraming transverse crack naman other than the, yung central crack um, manifestation of stomach kin deficiency. If the cracks are more extensive and cover the entire tongue, it, this indicates stomach and kidney deficiency. Kung konti lang, uh, stomach kin deficiency, but kung yung entire tongue ang affected, stomach and kidney deficiency. Likewise, a longitudinal crack along the middle of the tongue with several transverse crack extending out from it reflects a stomach and kidney deficiencies. So ito po yung tandaan natin pag mas marami na po yung crack, uh, stomach and kidney deficiency. A crack that runs all the way down the center of the tongue and out to the tip shows that there is a constitutional weakness and the person can have a tendency to develop heart imbalance. Yung crack po doon sa center ng tang, uh, umabot po kapunta hanggang doon na sa may tip. So there could be a heart imbalances. Yung crack naman na two diagonal on the front third, dito po sa may unahan ng tang, uh, dalawa po siya na ma-observe po natin, which is behind the tip is a sign of longing deficiency. Diba uh, first kanina, uh, inindicate ko yung area ng lung na may depression. Kung dun po sa area na yun, meron pong two diagonal crack, meaning uh, diagonal po ang presentation niya, hindi straight line. And dalawa po siya dun sa may front uh, first uh, front third lung yung deficiency po yun the crack may be remnants of an old condition so pwede po lang yung deficiency or remnants of the old condition such as severe respiratory disease in early childhood nung mga bata pa siya pwede natin siya uh, ma-observe at present that damage the lung at that time Short transverse crack on the sides of the tongue are a sign of skin cheek and gene deficiency. Ito po yung mal, uh, maliliit, maikli na transverse crack, uh, spleen cheek and gene deficiency. So next we have veins on the underside of the tongue. Uh, sa ilalim po ng tongue. If the veins on the underside are swollen, like this, yung unang picture, yung malaki, uh, prominent po yung mga uh, veins, and purple po siya, swollen or knotted, it indicates that there is blood stagnation. Ito po yun. If the veins are very flat and pale, there may well be a blood deficiency or chi deficiency. So dito po sa letter A, uh, there is uh, blood stagnation, B, C, D, um, blood deficiency or chi deficiency, and yung ENF, nag-start na po mag uh, ng blood stagnation, nag-swell up na po yung vein. Okay. And then do not put thank you for listening.